All right, so I, I did a thing to my keyboard here. Um, so on this side, if you if you look at it in the light, I'm not sure how well you're gonna be able to see it. You'll see you'll see that small little brim right there, right? But on this side, that little brim ooh, <laughs> is gone. Now you're probably wondering what happened to the little brim, Brian. Well, that the little brim is right there. It fell off. It broke. Um, and I grabbed it out of my keyboard here. Now my keyboard's semi-expensive, okay? I'm not gonna lie. It's one of those one of those keyboards. So basically, the problem with that is that I've gotta reattach that somehow, and I gotta fix this. I don't wanna order a new key. We're gonna try and fix this, like right here. I've tried taking tweezers, and I've tried to sit the, um, and I've tried to take and set the, the actual piece inside of there with a uh, super glue, but it didn't work. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my knife and I'm going to cut through the side of this and super glue it back on after I'm done. So I'm just going to go ahead and get in here and just cut through the corner of the side of this here piece. I think what I'm going to do now is heat up the end of my knife here and t touch it to it so that way it actually melts through the plastic rather than, you know, breaking or whatever. burnt my skin and I'm through yep cool okay, put that down right into it Just barely. Barely. Oh, there we go. We got it. Alright, we're in. Cool. All I need to do is attach that piece that's missing. Once I do that, I'll be I'll be pretty much set. So let me go ahead and get this piece of plastic here. So we need to make that side look like this side. With the weird end facing up and the smooth end facing down. So let's find that on this piece right here. Uh, so it looks like... That's the weird end, right there. And I've dropped it. All right, so I found the piece. Oh, hang on, my wires. I went ahead and bought a uh, $5 container's worth. All right, so <clears throat> what we're gonna do is just gonna dip some on my finger here. Ooh, make sure it's all in frame. So dip some on my finger here. And then we're gonna grab this piece. Stick it into that super glue. Grab the keyboard spacebar. And stick it on. I think I've got it. Oh, I've done it. I've done it, guys. Now we gotta let it dry. I'll let you guys get a zoom in on this. So as you can see, right there, that is on there. So it looks the same as this side, um, and I think this is going to work, to be honest. I think it's a little bit... No, it's exactly the same. Sweet. That is maybe just a, a tad bit shorter between the two sides. Other than that, I think I've done it. So I'm going to go ahead and let this sit before I put it on the keyboard again. And uh, I think I've learned my lesson from CSGO Rage. So that's just a little warning to you guys. Um, <laughs> don't get too angry. Um, I'll be posting CSGO videos soon. You guys will see what happened. But uh, all right, I'll see you guys later. Uh, well, I'll see you guys whenever I'm ready to put this onto my actual keyboard. And then from there, we'll, we'll go. I'm just going to let it dry for about an hour or so. No spacebar for an hour. <clears throat> Alright, so I went on ahead and I actually put the keyboard piece back on here. And I'm going to click on the desktop so it doesn't actually mess anything up. And before, whenever I press this down, it would uh, it would, it would only send this part down. It wouldn't actually click it. Obviously, it looks fine from where it is, but if I click here... Um, now, it's, it's a little... It's not slanted. Cool. Um, I was also talking to the wrong side of my microphone. Sorry about that, but it's it's working now. Um, what I had to do is I put the metal bar on first, and then I put the um, the 
the hook pieces in between where I super glued those little holes or I super glued that pin back on so it would it would fully click uh, and also I forgot to put on the um, the, <laughs> the piece I cut out of my keyboard but I went ahead and stuck it inside of the uh, the CPU box I keep up there so that's that's just gonna have to do for now but I can edit videos again and I can play my games and hopefully this holds up if it doesn't I can always mold a new one out of Suguru and stick it to it I'll just use rubber from then so that'll that'll work if not I'll just replace uh, order a replacement spacebar for now all right thanks for watching guys